bitches. This is Jenny and Melissa. And today is Sunday, April 7th, and yep. this is video number 11. We're almost teenagers. <laughs> um, let's see, it's been a month? No. Three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. Since our last video. And we'll start with FFOs and finish. Yes. You want me to go first? Yeah. Or you want to go? Okay. I only have one. All right. Well, um, I had two, and they're pretty much what I worked on all month also, so um, I don't have any, like, whips to show this week, except I have two new starts. So I finished these two and then started two more. Um, and so in keeping with me wanting to FFO, like, everything that I finished, I've, I've gotten both of these done. So here's my reflections of Norway. You also see reflections of the room. I don't know. Anyway, there we are. There it is. This is on Under the Sea, Fiery Skies, with a fiberlicious uh, silk thread. Anyway, it's really cool. It's fun. My husband's already, like, decided that he's taking it and he's going to put it some, wherever he wants to put it. So, anyway, pretty cool. And then... Yesterday, I finished my NES Sal, my version of it. I didn't do all 24 because that's just crazy talk. So I did my top nine, and I just framed them today before I got over here. Um, it's not perfect, but I like it. And I think the fabric turned out really well. Sparkly fabric. I did all the frames in a sparkly thread, like Petite Treasure Braid. So yeah, it was fun. So those are mine. Looks good. Thank you. Um, and I finally was able, I found this frame yesterday at Hobby Lobby. It was half off. And I think it fits Kotla pretty well. So I'm going to have to just, it's a little off. I'll be fixing that. But other than that, it is done. And I like the distressing on it. We're good. Yeah, I really like that too. I thought cool. it was really neat. Um. Cool. Wearing my Stiatch long shirt, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Colorado homegrown. So, yeah, that's but all I've got. Just FFOs, right? No yep, finishes. no finishes, just finish and FFO. Yeah. All right. And um, whips. Did you say you didn't have any whips? I have two starts. I guess they're whips now. Okay. But, yeah. So, cool. so, I figured I got two finishes so I could start two. And they're both um, new market releases. So, the first one I started last week at the Stitch In, at a stitching shop, was Melissa by the Primitive Hair. I'm planning on doing a conversion of her hair to blonde. Um, but, yeah. She's going to be real fun. Also, there's some... Um, there's some Krynik in there, which I converted to Petite Treasure Braid. And I'm also going to probably add some other touches of the Petite Treasure Braid because I like having the sparkle not just in one spot. So I think I'm going to do her crown in it. And I think I'm going to do something down here with some of the Treasure Braid just to make it more evenly dispersed. So, And the start is pretty minimal, but I will show you anyway. Let's see. This is on the Call For fabric. It's Old Salem, um, also made by the Primitive Hair. So I just got started on some of the folds of her dress there. Also, I converted all of the all of the threads to like my own version that I liked. So it's a mix of oh, what do we got in here? We've got some uh, a different color gentle art. I got some. This is some Victorian motto for the dress that I thought was pretty. So, yeah, pretty much totally converted. Although she did have a couple of DMC colors in there, and of course I'm using those. So, that's that one. And then my other new start, I started last night after I finished the NES Sal, and it is Quaker Gone Haunted by Michelle Inc design so I don't know 
Michelle Bendy stitchy showed it on her floss tube and I immediately was like, I have to go get that. So. This is on a fabric that I got in the Halloween box um, from Color and Cotton last fall. So it's kind of a, a cool color. It's, it's like a beige when you look at it, but it's got some purples in it. So it's very Halloween-y. And I just, I started the tree that was kind of in the middle. Again, I didn't use any of the call for threads. I converted to what I thought looked good on this fabric. So, because the fabric in the picture is more of a like gray blue. So I kind of wanted to, I don't know, make this fabric pop. So That's exciting. And I did that all last night. And I mean, it, it seems like it's stitching up really quick. So I'm excited to keep going on that. I probably should, we always say this, but I think I'll be able to finish it pretty quickly. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, let's see. What else? So, been working on ink circles, dog pile. Uh, I kind of do this one at work when I get a moment. Um, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, five and a three quarter dogs done. Um, Looks like it's a quick stitch. Yeah, it's pretty quick actually. Yeah. I think I finished like from the little dog down in mm -hmm. probably like a week. So yeah, that's awesome. This will be a bell pole once it's done. I just have the Newfoundland at the bottom and then I'll be working my way up. There's like five more dogs. And this is 25 count ice cashew, I think. Something like that. It's the called for color. Light antique blue, 27 oh. count. So it's off on all of it. Um, then I somewhat finished the Magical Quilt Sal. April has been released. I still have like on the bottom like every other stitch to go across to finish up March. But um, I good. don't know if the camera's picking it up. But this is my third color here. So I'm doing like a... Kind of like a variegated, so this is black. Ombre. $37.99, and then this bottom one is $4.13, I believe. It doesn't really pick up on camera very well, but see, it's just like a slight mm -hmm. color change. But maybe once cool. I do the next color, then that it'll bring out right. that color a little bit more. So. That's a cool pattern. Yeah, I, I'm really liking it so far. And it's free, right? The yes, pattern? it is free. That's cool. Um, it's just magical quilts and more, I believe, is the the site. So stitching the monthly stitching. I think I've been working on this for like two years because I only work on it at the stitching. Yeah. So this is 28 count ice blue cachet. And I only have like four more rows and then a bunch of these things that come out. And then a couple of other stuff sticking out and then French knot. So yeah. but this one Yay. hopefully a few more months and then I'll be done. That's great. <clears throat> um I did have a new start. Yay. Didn't get a whole lot done on it. This um, Heaven and Earth Designs, Romeo and Juliet. The artist is Sarah Butcher. And, like, yeah. N not a... That's how it goes. It's not the worth <laughs> showing, but that's all I got done on It's there. a blob. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then last... So I was looking at how long I've been working on this project, and it's... February 24th, it was like two years, so I've been focusing on this one because I'm ready to get it done. So last time I had just gotten a little bit of the seahorse, so I finished that, finished the back stitching there, finished the water on this side, finished this petal here, and now I'm starting on her body. So hopefully, oh, and I did give her a face. She kind of had a bulbous nose going on, so um, I went ahead and did all the back stitching for her. 
arms and her feet. So yeah, it looks good. So yeah, and then after seeing what Jesse Murray got, that will probably be my next start is the Letters by Nora, the oh, Mermaid right. J. Mm -hmm. That one's I cute. have that one, so yeah, I'll probably start that one after this because yeah, that one's really cool. Yeah, so I know I wish I liked the M in that series, but yeah, I it's a cute series. I have a thing for orange. I don't. It's not my favorite color, but yeah, this one and then the J has an orange mermaid in it. So. Hmm. Well, you just like orange or mermaids. That's I okay. guess. Yeah. <laughs> So awesome. What's next? Um, I just have some stash acquisitions. Talk about that. I have quite a bit of that. All right, cool. You want to go first then? Um, or go second? Well, <laughs> yeah. I'll thanks to Melissa. Yay! And her work computer. Oh, can I say that? That's fine. I'm in trouble. <laughs> FYI, a lot of people's work. <laughs> Internet is faster than at home. <laughs> so I've been sticking around on Thursday nights um, a couple of weeks in the last month trying to get uh, clay by Kim for Jenny and I, and I was able to grab some. So, yeah. And she forgot hers at home. But we'll put pictures but in. But I got mine. Yeah. So these are the ones that Melissa was able to... I tried to do it, not last Thursday, but the Thursday before, and... It just wasn't fast enough here. Yeah. So, um, so. And sh show them the back how she's got that extra. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that's the back. She puts. It's like mm -hmm. a. A little handle on the magnet on the back. So that's mm -hmm. cool. Oh. And now it's broken. Yeah. Just kidding. It's not broken. That's, good. that's quality needle line. So. Yeah. Um, let's see. A while back, I um, bought a pattern for Christine Calico Whimsy, and she was nice enough to make me this bag as a thank you for that. The mouth. So there's the inside there. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Christine, for that. And then, what, two weeks ago, I decided to make my own bag. This would be my first one. Came out pretty good, I thought. It's a little bit bigger. I um, think I'll probably be giving this one to Bird's Betsy at Bird Stitcher Colorado. Because I did tell her I was going to make one, and I actually... It has birds on it. I bought this fabric originally for yeah. her anyway, with her in mind. So, um, And then, while we were at the stitching... Um, Christine Calico Whimsy passed this on to me. It's kind of been going around. I think yep. you had it first, right? I did. Okay. Yep. And so now I have that. Yep. And then another girl in our group, Judy, was nice enough to give me Cinnamon Stars by Plum Street Sampler. So pretty. So at some point I'll be starting that as well. Thank you, Judy. And last but not least, I got from a stitcher friend also in our stitch along group. This uh, it's a laying tool, so it just goes right here, hmm. and then as you're stitching, then you. Um, so she made that in my favorite color green. That's cool. So it's been working out pretty good. It's a little big, so I'm gonna have her fix it on the next stitch in. But does it feel awkward when you're? doing it or have you kind of figured out a method um well it's a little big so i moved it to this next finger mm -hmm. but what's nice about this is that you you can't stab yourself you know like with this finger you, right so it's it's a little bit easier than it's not that bad that's cool you get used right. to it um actually i have a couple more things so i was just looking through some fabric and i love tootsie rolls so I bought myself some Tootsie Roll fabric. <laughs> I'll probably be making a bag out of this That's one so at some cute. point. Um, and then I was asked to donate a bag to the Denver Stitchers Retreat. Mm -hmm. So I found this really cool fabric. So if you can see, I can't see. Yeah, so kind of see it. <laughs> Maybe I need to hide my face. 
So that says stitch all along there. And then I got this fabric here, just a bunch of X's. So I was thinking to do like the fabric with the window, the vinyl, mm -hmm. do this on the inside and then this on the outside. So it's like X stitch. Yeah. Some the colors really pop against the dark like that. So. Yeah. But that is all I have for stash position. Stash position. I did pretty good. I think that's more than enough for me. Yeah, that's, that's good for that's you. That's actually a lot for me. <laughs> um, so I had a few. I Sorry, I'm out of the screen here. Okay. I had a few, um, but a couple of them were, um, you know, I didn't purchase, so that was cool. So Trisha from 3 Owl Threads was doing a giveaway um, of, a, I think, a couple of different market releases. But anyway, one of the ones that she was giving away was this pretty lady Penelope's Posies by Lindy Stitches who by the way I have a complete obsession with now I just bought another pattern from her this week it's on the way I will show you next time but um yeah it's a cute little pin cushion and it's the whole not the whole kit it doesn't have the thread but it has everything else in it so it even comes with the pins it comes with the little charm and the the I don't know the ribbon that you put around the edge and the backing and everything. So I want to start that like soon because it's spring and that's fun and I don't think it's going to take very long. No, so I think it'll be a quick stitch. Yeah. So I mean, it's just the top part anyway, right? There's Correct. No yeah. So the bottom is the the bottom is the polka dot underneath. Yep. So it's literally just so the top. Mm -hmm. I know I don't know how to, but you're going to show me how. So we'll we'll figure it out together, right? Um, and then Christine Calico was at the Stitch Inn this last uh, week, and that was really fun to see her. And she, um, in keeping with the whole hello whatever from Plum Street, she purchased this and gave it to me. And then I will pass it on back to her when I'm done, and the whole thing, the whole cycle will start again for everyone. So I'm probably going to go ahead and start that soon because I'd like to get it back to her, obviously. Um, plus, hello, it's spring and it's super cute. So I just need to go through the color list tonight and kind of decide what I'm going to use for DMC and what I, because they have a DMC conversion on the back. So, um, and then of course I have my own stash of overdyes that I might use. I'd rather not buy more if I don't have to. So anyway, that's that one. And then here are the rest of my market um, purchases. So, you know, I got Melissa and, you know, I got Quaker Gone Haunted. So then I also got this one because that dog in the front looks like my dog a little bit. My puppy. It's hands-on design. Little woof block pin cushion. It's so freaking cute. Yeah. And I think... I think a stitching shop is going to get me the pins that go with it. I, just, I think they haven't come in yet, so I'll be picking those up. And then, in keeping with my Lindy Stitches obsession, I did pick up a mother's heart. I just think that's so sweet. And I love the colors on it. I think it'll be really quick and easy. So, Although it's actually bigger than it looks. I think it's... Yeah, it's... Well, it's 136 by 130, but I mean, that's a decent size. So, but there's so much empty space, I don't think it's going to take long. Yeah, it's just the letters, right? There's yeah. Some other little motifs in there. And I like it because she does like a mix of gentle art and DMC, which is nice. Because like, you know, some of the smaller motifs are just DMC, which is fine. And then some of the, you know, pretty ones, the blue ones up there, I think are the gentle arts. So that'll be nice. And then, ever since I got my puppy, I've been obsessed with dogs. So I got another dog one by the Blue Flower. Good dog. I don't know why I like it. I like that the dogs are as big as the house, and so is the... What is that, a pheasant? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I like the motif. I usually don't like borders, but that's a cool border. I won't mind stitching that. So Very fun. I don't know when I'll start that, but... I'm glad I have it. So... Okay, and then I, um, here, I'll just do this last one. So I picked up Waiting for Ships, MD35. She's out of print, so I grabbed her. And actually, it was kind of weird. 
so the lady on eBay, she she canceled the order, and I was like, hey, what happened, you know? And she said, well, I, I thought I had it, but I can't find it. And I was like, okay, well, you know, it is what it is. Like, so I just move on, and I kind of was keeping my eye out. And then, like, the next day, she emailed me, and she was like, oh, hey, I have it now. Do you still want it? And I said, okay, cool. So it took a while to get to me, even though she was in the U.S., and then when I did get it, it was from the Philippines. And I was like, what is going on? I think what she did, because there was a handwritten note on the front when I opened it that said, you know, the person who was running that, that eBay store, it was like, she paid for this for you. You know, here you go. Whatever. Mm -hmm. So I think what she did is when she couldn't find it, she actually like bought it from this other Philippine seller who I saw that one on there and I didn't go for it because it was like 30 bucks more than what I paid. So I think she paid the difference and like got mm -hmm. it for me, which is like... How amazing was that? So I'll, if I can find the eBay store, you should go check her out. Because I mean, obviously, wonderful customer service. And um, that was really nice of her. And she totally didn't have to do that. So, I mean, I, you know, I've had people where they, they're like, oh, yeah, I actually don't have it. And like, yeah, it sucks. But I'm not going to go write a bad review about them or anything. Right. You know, so that was really nice of her to do that. So I'll see if um, I can have Ginny add it underneath. So, And then the last thing I have is my monthly... Um, fabric of the month by XJU Design, and this one is called Spring Wind. It's a 40 count. This one's very mild, but I kind of like it. It's like a, I can't see what you're seeing. It's like a minty green. Yeah, it's a very light mint green, but you can see this beautiful modeling in it. Just real light. But that's great, because that's good for any kind of primitives you want to do, and I've kind of been getting into samplers and stuff like that. So I think that that's going to that's going to be nice for something, you know. I like having the neutrals because, you know, typically you can find something to put on them. And she always throws in a little pattern and or thread. And this time she gave, gave me some silk there. Very spring color. And she just had like a little Mother's Day pattern in there. So that's nice. And that's all I had. So, not too bad this month, especially considering it was market and I, I knew I was going to be buying some stuff. I really like the snail, the slug. I think it's. Oh, the one from last year? No, I think it's this year, isn't it? No. From Primitive Hair? Yeah, I think I've only seen it on this year's stuff. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe they're just showing it with. I want to start that one soon, it's too. It's like a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I want to start everything. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's cool. With the little paddle that it goes on? No. No, oh, not the one know. that you got. Okay. This, is a new, this one's a slug, not a snail. I haven't seen I'll that. Show you okay. In the video. Yeah. yeah, I want to um, know. I wanted to point out, too, that the fabrics that I got, the stitch and the X's I got from this person here, Winter Creek there Cloth. And I'll post a link below so you can click on that if you want. And I got a yard of both of those. And then the Tootsie Roll fabric, if anyone likes Tootsie Rolls, I got from Curly Girl fabric. And I'll post. And those are both on Etsy. So. Cool. Um, and I got a yard of that too. So. And I think that's all I got. Yeah. Is there that's else? enough. I think we spent enough this month. Um, you want to talk about plans? Do you have any plans? I, my plan is just to finish this mirror right now. Yeah. That's kind of my focus. Catch up on my sal. Mm -hmm. um, that's really all I got as cool. far as plans. I don't have any plans really. I, I focus so much on Reflections in Norway and the Nintendo sal that I kind of want to do whatever I want to do. So that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to wake up every day and decide... Hey, I want to work on this today. So I have, I think, 17 whips at the moment. So I have plenty to choose from. And I think I might kit together and start Hello Spring. But I may or may not need a fabric for that. Actually, I wonder if that XJU design would look good on that. The green one? Yeah. Pro isn't it? Yeah, I think there's some green in the... Yeah. That would probably look good. Hang on, let's look. Since I had it here. 
Yeah, I think that look that look kind of nice. And I'm not gonna hang all these four hello whatever's up together. Like they're not gonna be next to each other, so it's not gonna matter as far as like different fabric counts and stuff like that. So okay, I'll think about that. <clears throat> um and then I think I'm I'm probably going to I don't have like a set timeline, but I, I want to get started on the small for the smalls exchange in September at the Colorado yeah. Stitching Retreat. Yeah, so I probably need to start that. Um, it's a small though, so I'm not super worried about it right now. I just want to make sure I have it like in the back of my head. Um, and then I was telling Jenny the other night that um, what I was thinking of doing for Mania this year in May is to do a Mirabilia Mania. I have. So four of my 17 whips are mirrors, and I want to start a fifth one. So I kind of want to like knock out a big like chunk on these four that I already have going. And especially like at the Met, I, I have, I don't know, not, not a lot, but I have like a good chunk of the dress already done. And I've also got Lady of the Flag and Miss Christmas Eve and Stargazer going. Um, although I like, I've only got like this much done on Stargazer, so. I kind of want to just get going on those so I can like start new ones later. So sure. I think I'm going to do that. You know, I have four and there's like, there's four and a half weeks, but I figure I'll just do the four full weeks will be just in my, mm -hmm. maybe do like a mirror a week. Yep. Yep. So I'll do Lady of the Flag one week at the Met for a whole week and so on. So that's my plan for that. Cause I can't do mania as far as like making a whole bunch of new starts. Cause I've got plenty. Sounds like a pretty good plan. Thanks. I think it'll be fun. I just have the one, so I mean, I can work on the one the entire month. Yeah, you can knock her out. Because you don't, I mean, do you have a lot left? I don't really know that chart too well. Mm, you got her whole bottom half. The whole tail. I have another compass that goes on the bottom. Okay. And then she's got like a net and an anchor. I don't know. Oh, okay. I, I mean, if I just dedicated the month to it, right. I could probably finish it. You should do it then. So that would be cool. You're right. I am kind of going off the... <laughs> I know. You get further and further. It's because I'm looking at your stuff and, I think, <laughs> and I'm reaching for things. Anyway. But yeah, um, I think that's it. I think we're good. Um, not, not too long of a video this time. So. Thanks again for joining us. Yep. We appreciate you. And uh, thanks to the new subscribers as well. Yeah. And thanks for the old subscriber for coming back. Yep. And uh, we'll probably see you guys. Let's see, what's seventh? Probably the beginning of May. And I think by then we'll have yeah, at least an idea what we're going to do for May for sure. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah, and I've got vacation in May too, so that's oh, going to knock a whole right. week. Right. Ooh, that, I might have to change my plans a little bit. I may move my mania up a week then and just do that last week of April, first week of May as my start instead of waiting till May 1st. So our that last video week I'm out. might be a little delayed because the last week in yeah. April I'm going to Florida to see my parents mm, again. Yeah. So, okay. Well, we, I mean, maybe we could try in two weeks instead of three before you go if you have time. We'll figure it out and we'll let you know. You'll see us. All right, soon. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we'll catch you guys later. Bye. Have a good Thanks. week.